Zoom in, zoom in. Leski, I love you. Oh! 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 Go, go, go! Oh! 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 Happened at nine, dude. Oh, Happened at nine. Did it really? Yeah, that's tough. Dude, it's my 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 Welcome back. Another episode of the Chalky Milk Gang. The usual three, me, Tyler, and Will back at it again. Uh, big podcast today. This is episode eight, the sixth uh, episode of season two. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Dude, we're doing good. Uh, doing well. Mm -hmm. uh, same like here. Enough. That's awesome. Um, just so you guys know, we're covering today. We got the usual chalky milk reviews. We know it's a fan favorite. And also, uh, we're going to be talking about how to run a sports tournament. That's a big thing to do with your friends. We are experts at that. We just ran a good one uh, yesterday. So uh, that's going to be an interesting topic. Going to keep it shorter today, trying to keep it at the 30 minute mark. But uh, let's start with the chalky milk reviews. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go first? Yeah, so I got a yeah. I got a surprise one. I, I haven't been able to come up with chalky milk for the past two weeks because my family takes like two two days to drink it when we get it. Ooh. So I made myself a uh, a milkshake tonight. Uh, this it looks amazing. It's like Oreo like stuff in it, so it's black and white kind of. And Ooh. oh my god, it is thick. It is fat. It is. I mean, I don't know if I can really count it and rate it like, like us. I, I yeah. think I think it's a. It's an honorable mention. Mm -hmm. But goddamn, it is good. So. Well, rate it anyway. Yeah, what, you got what would it. Be? It's no got to be score. like, it's, it's just, it's so thick and creamy, and the flavor is just perfect, right on point. It's got to be like a 9-3 or something. Really? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's a high Definitely. review. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I'm rocking with like the, the, uh, mm -hmm. the Stu Leonard stuff again. It still Stu's. holds up. It's still, I don't know, what did we decide? Like a 9 Point zero. I don't remember, like that. but it's definitely a nine. It's kind of on its area. way out, though. Like it's really like it's not like it's gone bad, but it's like it's not as oh. good as when you first get it. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get that. I respect the vibes. It's yeah. Delicious though. Good stuff. You really gotta drink it when it's in its prime. You know, mm -hmm. as soon as you get it. Yeah. I just like don't want to drink too much because you know my body's not super lactose tolerant. Mm. Hard enough, but like too much, and there might be a problem. Yeah, I get that. Um, today I'm going back to the classics. We got the Trader Joe's. Uh, Trader Joe's. If you want to sponsor us, feel free to. We got the chocolate whole milk. Uh, did you guys know it as vitamin D? And it's ultra pasteurized, and it's made with this cow. This cow looks like a homie. Um, I don't remember what we gave this, but it's at least something in the nines. Like it's a, uh, it's a beverage. It's a chalky milk. It's, it's smooth. It's rich. It's delicious. You know, when you are looking for chocolate milks, you got to find some good ones. You got to splurge a little bit and, you know, Trey Joe's got that covered. So, and Stu Leonard's too. Um, I think the Snickers one from last week was very interesting, but you know, you just got to find the right milk for you and just run with it. And for me, it's the Trader Joe's. So I'm excited. Love to hear it. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's a great time. Yeah. So um, as we said uh, yesterday, we ran a really Chima ran this one, but a, a golf tournament. So if you want to elaborate on it. We went out on the links. Uh, I think I think at least five or six of us had never played golf before. I played golf before, but a lot of us didn't. And that made it really fun, actually. Uh, you know, we got some of the boys together. We had a great time. Uh, view the montage. I'll, I'll probably edit it by then. But. And that one went. That was a big advance of the ball. And he hits it onto the street. <laughs> Will Hodge with a big hit of the ball. 
And there we go. And that's going to hit the other tree. That's a beauty. We're on the green. You know, just a great time with the boys. Par three course, uh, low yeah, difficulty. Each every hole was par three. Yeah, low low course difficulty, but high intensity because you're playing with the boys. Uh, shout to Declan Harding. He ran away with the championship, uh, six over par. Uh, shout to Luke Press. He got the highest score, thirty four over par. Um, well, he got an eleven on one hole. Hey, I want to talk about it. I got stuck <laughs> in a sand pit, and I yeah, un, I under, I overestimated how easy it would be to get out, and then it took like five swings, and no yeah. one was watching, so I could have lied. But mm -hmm. sport is integrity based, so I had to yeah, I had to accept the five swings it took to get out of the pit. Mm -hmm. Dude, I respect the honesty. They don't they don't teach you that all you have to do is hit the sand right in front of the ball. Yeah, I was hitting you the swing ball. for the actual ball. It just doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, it's funny because I got three before that. I like I got mm, par before you got that. Par. And I got to eleven. So yeah. there was a very surprising amount of pars on that course. I remember I got one. Uh, Declan got a few. He even got a birdie. Birdies are cool. <laughs> um, Tyler, did you get a par? I did. Yeah, it there was. It was tough. I had never hit a par before. Mm -hmm. Even Luke got a par, and he got the highest score. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Exactly. He no, he yeah. got it. He got it on the same hole as me, and really? I'm sitting there thinking like, "You're doing terrible," but like. Mm -hmm. hey, Everybody can find a way, you know. Yeah, shout out to the Carl Dickman Par Three Course in Fairfield, Connecticut. That's where we pulled up to, and uh, you know they're very nice, very hospitable. They have a nice uh, practice green. Uh, you know, it was it was a great time. Um, but yeah, I think one of the biggest keys with these tournaments is just the trophies that we use. Oh, yeah. I got a, I got a I got a bunch of uh, trophies from when I was six. You know, they give you the participation awards and whatnot. Now I just use these for the tourneys pull up the pick but you know what are you guys thoughts on the trophies i mean you gotta have something to play for and i love how it never matches the actual yeah. sports line i like, purposely I, make sure it doesn't match yeah i was gonna say you gotta have a basketball trophy but if we play basketball it's not that trophy it's not gonna be it no it, dude it's a great addition you know mm -hmm. to get an actual trophy you know from like little league stuff and throw it in there everybody everybody feels a little more you know, a little more of the energy, yeah. a little more of the pressure when they when they see that come out. Absolutely, <laughs> I'd say. Um, now we're definitely veterans at running these tourneys. I'm I'm am I'm, I'm the commish. I'm the guy behind it. But uh, there's been a long history behind it. It's definitely made our friend group closer. Tyler, do you want to go into this history of us uh, of our uh, group chats tournaments? I mean, I mean, there's nothing too much, nothing nothing too crazy to it. But like, where did it where where it started? It's humble beginnings. Yeah. No, back in the day, um, from like my 16th birthday, I think I really wanted to have a bunch of kids to come and like play soccer, but like, not just like, you know, like a little mini soccer game. I wanted to have a full field soccer game go for my birthday. And I think we got like eight on eight, which is like almost enough people, um, you know, to fill out. We have ended up playing like half field, but like full size school. I think we did a, cool. we, like, and then like most of the field. Yeah. But I, I think, think I the most important day. thing, was we introduced – because this wasn't a tournament. It was just, like, a game, you know. The yeah. tournaments, it's, like, you get small teams, you play short games, and you, you run out, like, you run out, like, multiple games throughout the whole thing. This was just one game. But we, I introduced – I wanted to start introducing more of the tropes that would come back later. So it was, like, we had, like, team names, team uniforms, mm -hmm. et cetera. There was a draft. And, you know, and that got, like – that not only was it great, and it meant that we were going to do more later with different sports – we end up coming back to like basketball, wiffle ball, flag football, mm -hmm. which is all awesome. In that but, tournament, we really well, it was a match, but you know, we really got the basics down. Exactly, yeah, exactly. The, the, the why we keep getting return customers. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we get them. We get them all right. 
I, we've had tourneys where we get like 30, 35 people. Yeah. Maybe not 35, more like 30. But, 30, uh, I think. Sorry, man. but, uh, it, it's exciting. I don't know. I remember then like a year later, maybe it was like the beginning of our senior year of high school. It wasn't even ran by me, but we did a basketball tournament. It may have been ran by like Gerard, a prior guest of Chalky Milk mm-hmm. podcast, Chalky Milk alumni. Uh, but, you know, that tournament, I remember my, we had a, one of the biggest keys, I'll just say right now, you can't have boring team names. got to have some good ones. Uh, it just creates more excitement and energy. I remember my team name. Uh, I was not the captain of this team. I was a draft pick. But uh, we are the Chino Hills Big Ballers. Uh, you know, <laughs> shout out to Will Casey, Ben Stein, the boys. Uh, and, we, and we named ourselves after the Big Baller brand, probably the uh, most successful trio of basketball players to ever play the game. So uh, v, that's a, the – yeah, I'm still sad Jello got arrested in Shanghai. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then we had that. Um, was it like senior year around Thanksgiving break? We had a bunch. I think that was our the best like football tournament we did. Right, that one we got. Like, I thought that was after freshman year of college. Maybe I don't really remember. So one, but we, our first football tournament was uh, during Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, okay. and that's when the. Uh, Illustrious, I'm wearing the colors Beach today. The Tone Beach Dab Bods, Tile Town, USA. That was oh no, yeah, we had like three tournaments over one weekend. That no, that's that's a different time. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, that that was easily the best weekend of tournaments. But uh, our first football tournament, uh, we got some of the boys together. It wasn't very popular then, uh, but you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, oh, yeah. so, uh, Super Bowl wow. one wasn't a sold out game. So, you know, we're just building it up and we got the boys together, just really just hammering down the basics, you know, yeah, getting grouped basics. together, getting a venue. Uh, we actually failed on that. Uh, we went over to our local field and then other people were playing on it. So we had to go find another field, but mm-hmm. ended up working out for us. Just great team names. Uh, Dad bots back at it again. Uh, you know, great drafts, uniforms, well, we, we just do, like, you wear the color of your team, and we decide the colors. Uh, but, yeah, we, we do insane prep on game day, just getting the field early, getting the field ready, getting the boys ready, bring an extra, uh, f- bring an extra sports balls and whatnot. You know, you run the tourneys, and, you know, the awards is a big moment. Uh, MVP, LVP, all that stuff. Yeah, I I think the awards are fun because it's, you know, it's just more inviting and stuff. And mm-hmm. it depends on, you know, the sport or the, the environment of the day. Like for basketball and football, we'll have defensive player. We'll have like the championship MVP, the tournament yeah. MVP. Will Hotch yeah. is a football Super Bowl MVP. That's true. As perhaps my athletic peak, <laughs> uh, my non-professional athletic peak. Um, Wait, you're saying this isn't professional? This isn't athletic. Oh. Uh, wait, I just – whatever. Um, what was, Tyler, what awards. award – have you ever gotten an award? I think, I think I've gotten some defensive awards over the years yeah. for, like, other sports and stuff. Tyler's a defensive for, machine. For oh, one of the God. basketball tournaments, I told you, Alex, like, you should have a defensive player. And you were like, yeah, good idea, because I thought it would have been me because I was playing pretty good. And then it ended <laughs> up being, like, Luke or something. And I was like – pretty bummed <laughs> that's but I gotta crazy say, nobody nobody wins more consistently than our good friend Andrew Badesky in the LVP category oh yeah he has never uh, lost an LVP just a running <laughs> joke you know what I mean uh he he didn't even show up yesterday for golf when we gave him the LVP it's just mm-hmm. on, honestly like another big part of these turns is just tradition you gotta have hey, it for us the tradition really is Andrew Badesky getting that LVP award mm-hmm. I, I don't get it like I've met him so many times, and he's so surprisingly humble despite all the awards he's received. Dude, it's hard not to get an inflated ego about that. <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. saying. Uh, um, I mean, hey, even when he doesn't show up, he still manages to take it, you know? That's impressive. Yeah. That's, that's talent. That's insane. You that's, don't see that's LeBron some serious that. flakage right there. And flakage. You, really, you really can't get it anywhere else. He's the only one who's mm-hmm. got that kind of talent. He's more of a fringe guy, if you really think about it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a fringe guy. Um, after that football tournament, though, then we dabbled a little bit with wiffle ball. That that was honestly that was, that was one of the best days of my life. We got 
I, I don't think we're ever going to achieve that much of an audience for wiffle ball ever again. But we got 30 cool. of the boys over. I, some girls came through, too. It's really? Great, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, just in the stands watching, supporting the program. An actual audience going. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. it was great. I, then, like, yeah. it was just, like, that, like, there's, like, a moment in that tournament where, like, everyone's there and everyone's actually watching the game. Badesky doing flips, roll the clip. Zoom in, zoom in. I love you. Oh, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, 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 I'm telling you that that was a electrical moment. God, Shout out to my really? mom giving us pizza and stuff. Didn't you get an ice cream truck? Oh, we got an ice cream truck. You gotta that have good cool. entertainment. You gotta have good entertainment. And the ice cream truck is easily it's a halftime strong. Show. It's a, it's it's a halftime show. It's what you need. Uh, Shout out to whatever ice cream truck was there. Great time. Uh, and that was at my house. You gotta have a good venue for wiffle ball. My house can do it. It's a shame we don't have a video of when uh, Luca oh, yeah. pushed Gerard into the grill. <laughs> <laughs> Base blockers. Dude, yeah. we've had some good highlights from those, though. Yeah. Especially that tournament specifically. Uh-huh. That was when Andrew Badesky tried to jump over somebody to hit. Yeah, that's base. what I'm saying. Over case. Yeah. That was so funny. <laughs> and with some good team names, just overall. Like, what are some team funny name. team names oh, that uh, you guys a, have seen? You also had a walk-up song for everybody. Mm-hmm. And for That's Andrew the key. Desky, he's our Canadian brother. Yeah. He asked not, for a song and we didn't play it. We didn't give it Canadian to him. National anthem. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, I think it really just sets him up to strike out. He actually he did well he, though. He won Silver Slugger one time, but also won LVP. So <laughs> yeah. uh, can't stop there. But for real though, like, what are some like funny team names that you guys have uh, have uh, heard from these tournaments? I mean, yours, Daytona Beach Dad yeah. Dads, is probably the most iconic one. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we just keep winning. So, what's the one like Jerry Sands of West Haven? Oh yeah, something? shout out Ben Stein. He's uh, yeah, he, is, he represents Buffalo. He is. He brings a lot of energy to these. Mm-hmm. Got to respect uh, the energy. What other ones? Yeah, I'm not sure as the other team names, but, like, honestly, the memes are what make them yeah. so iconic. Like, people show up to play fun sports, and that's cool, you know? Like, golf, flag football, like, th- those are all – that's all, like, a good time. Mm-hmm. But it's, like, it's the memes that are so iconic, yeah. you know, I, that bring for, you back. For one of our basketball tournaments, it was, it was our, like, three-in-one weekend one. Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving yeah, tourney marathon. Last year. Yeah, that was um, for the basketball one. We had, or I think it was for the whole weekend. We had like meme of the tournaments. Oh, yeah, yeah. We went to when uh, it was really cold. So we had to like dress up warm and like Marshall Resnick looked like a hobo. <laughs> and like and somebody called him out for it in that one for meme of the tournament. That was that's good. a good one. <laughs> that is, that's the real deal. So I guess we should talk about like what goes into running it, not yeah. just what comes out of it. What what goes in? I, I think it's smart. You know, for me, just as commissioner, it's a big job. Uh, there's a lot of preparation that goes into it. Um, you know, first off, you know, I'd say step one. You know, just gotta get a group together. Get your boys. Get your girls. Get whoever um, that's willing to play whatever sport. For us, like. We, we've done football, basketball, wiffle ball, golf, but like any other ter- – like soccer is a good one that we've uh, talked about before. That was actually the origins of this tourney, tourney, uh, tourney group. But, uh, yeah, just get a group together. Get some commitment, people that, you know, are actually going to show up, I'd say, such as, uh, you know, my comrades over here, Tyler uh, Miller and Willie Mach. Just exciting people. Um, but, yeah, then you got to secure a venue. Uh, just just find like a local park in your area that would work um just We're stuff like it because we oh uh, yeah we have uh basketball courts like across the street from our beach and it's like mm-hmm. part of the beach so we'll usually try to go over like and just hope they're open and if we're lucky we get both courts and we play half court so that's four games a lot three of on three get, yeah so a lot of times we'll just get two courts but it still moves pretty fast Mm-hmm. And then we'll play either at our high school or one of the middle schools for football. And then wiffle ball was at your house. Yeah. So, yeah, it's good to 
you know, go to like a school. Yeah, schools have the fields. They got. You're gonna find them. No, and I gotta say, for a lot of these tournaments, it's nice because. So, uh, Alex, you'll go ahead as commish and you'll like fully reserve the field, like officially. Oh, fact. Which, you that's something you, you people think like think about, like that you can do. But you can go if you like go to whatever like local, you know, like town hall or administration or whatever. You can like actually reserve these places so that you can use them and kick anybody else off when you want them. So, oh yeah, they, the it's it's big for these events because you got mm-hmm. like you got thirty people hyped about song and if you if you show up and everyone's just everyone's just already using the field and you can't use it then you you, you haven't succeeded at running a tournament you've that uh, means you've to interrupt, but you guys down. see the fireworks yes <laughs> i actually i didn't see him i didn't see him well mm-hmm. when you watch the show going i'll, on I'll keep an eye i'll, I'll yeah. keep an eye out but people just do that really there's there's like fireworks i can't mm-hmm. fault them that looks awesome <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, that's impressive we yeah. also and then, we have a group chat of like 40 some people mm-hmm. it's half those kids like never really do anything in the chat but you know when we want to get a tournament going we'll sort of like feel out the uh yeah the desire like the demand in that chat and that's where we get all, all of our people. we'll see out we'll feel out the interest and there's always like a bunch of people that will show for anything those people mm-hmm. those are the boys i'd say yeah oh yeah no, in um, the past, we've made, like, Facebook groups as well. Oh, You'd yeah. You'd be surprised. That's not something people think of because, like, Facebook is kind of dead. But yeah. a lot of kids a lot of kids are still check it because it's, like, you know, college, you know, and high school. You use it for, yeah. like, clubs and, like, it's uh, you know, like community, thing. like, groups and all that BS. Preach will. So, yeah. So even if you're not, like, in direct contact with somebody, you're probably friends with them on Facebook. And you can, Facts. like, add somebody and then, you know – somebody like once you've added and figure out you have 15 20 people who want to come they'll be like oh yo all my friends want to come and then you get them in on it and then you got like a full-blown group it's, mm-hmm. it's exciting mm-hmm. um another one just uh you know you gotta have good captains gotta have people who are committed uh to to helping you run the good tournament not people that are gonna flake uh no fringe guys and then People just with energy too. Energy. You need, you need team chemistry and the captains, mm-hmm. you know, they're the first guy in command for that. It's like their job. Unless mm-hmm. you like draft somebody with energy, but mm-hmm. you got to, yeah, good team name, good energy all around. That's how you win. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of, Jima, you've made it so that the drafts are a lot of fun with like the live stream and the Zabala spinner. So Yeah. Think- Shout out to, uh, Sin- uh, Senorita Zabala, uh, greatest Spanish teacher of all time. But, uh, you know, that, that's what you got to do. You got to keep it random. Uh, I usually do like a Facebook live stream for the chat. We use Google spreadsheets, to keep it all organized. We just mean we'll open up the video call for a Well, no, it's on ESPN. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Channel 36 is right there. Don't yeah. even need to worry about it. Absolutely um but yeah no live stream i mean just like facebook call everyone's on it everyone's excited to see uh, what team they're going to be on whether they're going to be on the uh, illustrious stab bots or not but uh you know the the draft's a key key moment it will give you a lot of excitement uh, a lot of anticipation for the tourney ahead um and then you know we decide the team colors and whatnot and you just wear that wear that color do like normal colors like red yellow green blue so that like people actually have that shirt um and you show up that day and you're you know you're 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 repping your team and that that just makes it easy for like a contact sport like football where like you're not gonna if you're if you're red shirts if you're the dad bods you don't want to throw it to uh another team so you just throw it to the people in the red shirts that is how the sport is supposed to be played allegedly. I think so. I last I last time I checked, that actually. Really? Yeah, I don't think like so. Propaganda. They just wear it so that like people <laughs> like you know know that they're on the field. That's all it is. Doesn't matter what color. There's flexing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Will, you're wrong. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> um. But yeah, just running the tournaments. Uh like the actual game day, there's a lot of preparation. Sometimes I'll have to go out to the store and buy like for football, like let's say I need to go get new flags or something. So that like, we don't actually do like tackle football because we don't have the equipment for it. We do you, have flags though. We do have flags though. So that's, that's what we use. Sometimes got to get like new footballs, just other, uh, just fireworks. stuff. 
fireworks there. Let's go. They're excited about the golf tourney. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just, you know, make sure that, uh, your people are happy. If you're able to like get food, get snacks, get drinks, keep, keep your, uh, keep your players happy because you want them to come through next time. Uh, I think that's important. Uh, if it, if it's not a well-ran tourney, they're not going to come back and then you're just going to be sad. So, uh, yeah. uh, also just like Google's Google spreadsheets, make like a bracket or something keep everything organized, keep the scores down, make rules beforehand so that, uh, and make sure everyone reads it so that uh, nobody's, uh, nobody's unsure about rules and whatnot. Um, That's a big thing, especially yeah. for like football where there's so many rules mm-hmm. and so many different like situations that could come up. You really want to like cross all the bridges before you get there mm-hmm. and encourage questions. People always like, like, you, I remember for that, you like made a rule sheet and it was like, if you have yeah. any questions, like, you know, say something and we'll add a rule so that it won't come up. Facts. Come well. Yeah. No, for some of these sports, we've been able to develop like a rule book over multiple tournaments, you know? Oh, yeah. It's been nice because like in these final tournaments that we've had, like specifically the ones we had uh, last summer, you get so you get this like full rule book with like a page and a half of stuff. Mm-hmm. After doing this like three times, you know exactly mm-hmm. what the rules are going to be, and you up. And everyone knows, need, but mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, exactly. And you can have like it doesn't have to be exactly like professional rules. Like you can have some Easter egg Easter eggs in there. I know for wiffle ball, I put this in the rule sheet. Like you can, my house is like somewhat of a fence, but you can like jump on it. It's like a it's like an actual thing. Like so one of our rules, yeah, it's a rock wall. So one of our rules is like, you can actually jump on the cat, uh, jump on the fence and like actually catch the ball as opposed to just not being able to do that. Yeah. Stuff like that. Like we do something similar with field goals um, because like just kicking extra points are boring and whatnot. Yeah. It's for that. You could, if you score a touchdown, you can either just say like, all right, we're going to get the full seven or you can try to go for two to get eight. But then if you don't get it, you don't mm-hmm. get six. So it's like a little bit of gameplay in there too. Yeah. That's always fun. And the last but not least, maybe a pretty important part, just awards. Uh, obviously the championship team gets some sort of trophy. If you're, if you're a high school, college kid, middle school kid, you, you got plenty of trophies. I'm, I'm, what am I pointing to? But uh, <laughs> we got plenty, <laughs> got plenty of trophies uh, out there. Um, that you can use. It doesn't. Uh, Tyler's got one right there. See, that's going to be our next football or wiffle ball trophy because it doesn't have the sport on it. Uh, yeah. It has basketball on it. Wait, see, it says basketball. Dude, this would be perfect once? for flag football. Oh, facts. <laughs> Didn't you have a bowling trophy once? A bowling oh, no. trophy? I think Chima had a bowling trophy once. I don't know where he went because I'm pretty sure he gave it to someone. Oh, he's grabbing oh, it. Oh, he's he won it. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a bowling trophy. This is this is a uh, this is a big one. You know, you got a guy bowling the uh, bowling right. ball, and this is uh, when we won Thanksgiving uh, football champions, Daytona Beach Dab Bod. So, uh, you know, get get the wrong sport for your trophies. It just makes it funnier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what are some other funny awards we've had? I know for golf we had like best fit. Yeah, who won? Declan that? Harding. Declan. Will Will is Will's pretty good though. He had some, I had good shorts. He had good shorts. He was he was balling out. Mm-hmm. Balling on a budget. Um, Facts. I don't remember I don't the other uh, the awards. Any memorable ones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think we actually like we take those like at least a little seriously, just because yeah. it's nice to acknowledge all the kids, you know, who come out and get their, you know, like just lose really freaking hard. And it's nice to be like, you're not actually that bad at this sport. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, Chima, Absolutely. didn't I also win, like, MVP for the basketball tournament? Like, it was in the summer-ish. I feel I like I, I, feel like, I feel like Stein or Gerard would win the uh, MVP for basketball, but, like. No, I think you said if my team had won the championship. Oh, really? Then I would have got probably, the yeah. championship one, but we didn't. Mm. That was, when yeah. Badesky, that was when Badesky rolled his ankle and had to leave. That's tough. You don't want to see that. Hate to see injuries. Mm-hmm. Got injuries to injury free, injury free yeah. tournaments. Care for your injured players. Dude, this is, this is why we have the therapy team on standby. At all 
got to keep them right there just in case somebody rolls an ankle, you know, sprains a thumb right we there. Have a, we have a evacuate. fully staffed medical team. Mm-hmm. Totally. We always have an ambulance on hand. Yeah, absolutely. I remember one time in basketball, I like rolled my ankle or something. And then mm-hmm. I was out for the tournament. That was tough. Yeah. That's okay. We get through it. Um, but yeah, that, that pretty much covers it. Uh, you know, if you follow these steps, I really think you're going to run a great tourney and you're just going to thank us. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Uh, just send us vids and oh, uh, yeah. put something together. Totally send us vids. <laughs> Let us know. We'll roll through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect, though. Um, well, look, uh, you know, we tried to do a short episode. I think, uh, I think we're good we're on like time. Seven minutes right now. So, how about this? Uh, like, what tournaments do you want to see? Oh, this, true. This summer? I this summer? Definitely basketball and maybe get soccer going. Soccer Dude, I've be talked to people that have been like begging for soccer because what we, we have done like like big soccer games before, but we have never done like small goal tournaments. And that's like something that's also really fun, mm-hmm. you know, like three on three or four, four on four with like a little like kid goal. Like that's actually a good time. I would I get people out for that. sure. Mm-hmm. That could be really strong. Um, for me, just, you know, the classics, football, wiffle ball, I'd love to bring that back. We did a bunch of wiffle ball last summer. That went pretty well. Uh, low attendance, but, like, people that showed up were, were pretty hype. So, just mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, yeah. Just just oh, hope man. to have tourneys back. You know, coronavirus is stopping us a little bit. But mm-hmm. we'll get through it. We'll make it back. I don't think we mentioned we've also done spike ball tournaments before, and mm. those are some of the most fun so just because, like, the atmosphere behind it. Like, you know, it's a close quarters game. Uh, you get, like, three nets going at the same time, so it's usually pretty quick. You can do it oh, in yeah. conjunction with other stuff if you're chilling. And, like, it's just – spike ball is just such a good sport. I love spike, spike ball. Spike ball is so an elite much. sport. Yeah. I, I just freaking – what was it? I – we – like, Will and I used to play volleyball, and it's, like, a direct, like – yeah. Descendant from that sport. Yeah. God, it's just so fun, so much fun. It's a great so sport. Fun. And if you're playing on grass, you can just dive mm-hmm. and not wear kind shoes or socks. Yeah. yeah, barefoot. Me and I'll Tyler were a tandem recently. That's mm-hmm. all I'm saying. A spike. Yeah, it's spike. Yeah, we were playing the other day. We ran into some other friends at the beach. Um, after These are good players. These mm-hmm. are good players. And we do. We just handed it to him. It was. Gr- oh my god, it was great. Mm-hmm. What was it? We really, we really freaking brought it oh god i dude i want to get back out there and yeah on that that's another tournament we should definitely try to do this summer yeah that's a play could, that's one where like if you get six people you know then you it's can, still fun it's still fun yeah and we could easily get like 10 if we set it up beforehand mm-hmm. yeah you need see that's that's another problem with some of these other sports is like you, you really only need four people for like spike ball but, like, for a lot of other sports we're talking about, like, wiffle ball, you need at least eight people just for, like, a game. Football. Same thing for, like – Really? W- wiffle ball, you could do, like – you could honestly do two on two, wiffle ball. <laughs> Depending on the yard size, like, people do it before and it works. Yeah. But, no, like, sports fair. like football, you need – like, we do, like, five on five for football and we do, like, a shorter field. But uh, you, can't, you can't be out yeah. here having, like, one or two people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah some of these sports is harder to make work but mm-hmm. i don't know at the end of the day like the tournaments definitely take more people like we said you've really gotta put together like a decent amount of people that really want to come in order if, if you want to make it happen yeah um, yeah it's worth it in the end for sure absolutely got some solid experiences with all this and um, quantity is better mm-hmm. also just like bad. just make sure you can like see things because you like can't hit what you can't see so it's important. Never forget. Never forget. Very important. Is that it? I think so. I think so too. But uh, yeah, really appreciate everything uh, from uh, all of our supporters. You know, we're on the road to a thousand. I say it every time. You know, we just need a few more subscribers. We're at forty-two right now. Um, you know, feel free if you like the content, hit that subscribe button, like the videos. It really helps us out. Road to monetization. Um, <laughs> look, you know. Boys, it's it's been a great ride with you guys, Chalky Milk Gang. Uh, we already are at uh, a few episodes longer than our last season. Uh, season one was a two-episoder. Uh, this one is a little bit longer, so I appreciate it. 
Yeah. Real quick, before we end, I just want to plug our social media. We, uh, we realized that, you know, if we want to get our name out there a little more, we have to really start diversifying a little more. So I oh, made yeah. sure to make an official Chalky Milk MySpace page the other day. Please go follow us. Oh, we yeah. need this following, okay? We definitely want to pick it up. Go get us up. Oh, yeah, LinkedIn. Mm-hmm, Straight definitely. up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, you got, you got to do with those. Uh, you, got, you got to like those pages. But, uh, you know, really appreciate the viewership. And uh, until next time, you know, see you guys later. Thank you.